Ah, uh, summertime and the living's easy. <laughs> Unless you have a toddler. Mommy. <laughs> mommy. Hi, mommy. Today I'm sharing some of my favorite summer toddler must-haves that will make your summer parenting way more enjoyable. So if you wanna check out all of my favorites, then stick around. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jess and I help moms navigate the world of early motherhood. If you have a little one at home, then be sure to subscribe before you go so that you don't miss any helpful pregnancy, parenting, or early education videos. Now let's check out some of my favorite summer toddler essentials. All right, so first up we have this sprinkler splash mat. These things are absolutely amazing. They are so fun. I was seeing a ton of them pop up on Amazon and I finally caved and got one. This one was pretty affordable and I did order like an extra large one. It's definitely not that big, but it's perfect if you just have one or a few toddlers running around at home and you need something quick and easy to help them cool down in the hot summer heat. I will link the one that I got down below in the description box along with all the products that I'm about to mention. But this splash mat is great if you have an inflatable pool that you don't wanna blow up all the time and fill up and go through the hassle. It's really quick, it hooks up to the hose and then it fills up like the outer ring and then water comes out all around it like a sprinkler. So it's like a perfect little wading pool because it fills like only like an inch or two with water, which is perfect. So then after a while, we'll just turn off the sprinkler part and let him splash around in the little wading pool part. But Luke totally loves it and I highly, highly recommend getting one of these. All right, next up we have something that seems so simple but it's pretty awesome for multiple reasons. And that is a spray bottle. So like I said, super simple, but they're awesome. You can use these for so many different activities or for water play. If you wanna go ahead and check out my bug themed activity video, you can see a fun activity that you can do with a spray bottle and some chalk, and then you can modify it for different activities as well. So I will go ahead and link that video down in the description box. So not only is a spray bottle great for a little bit of water play or cooling down, but they're also great for strengthening fine motor muscles in your child's hands and fingers. So when they're pulling and squeezing the trigger, that's really working those hand and finger muscles, which is gonna help with a lot of daily tasks in the future, such as writing, tying shoes, self-feeding, zipping, buttoning. So this is a really simple thing that's great for that. You can pick one up from the dollar store or anywhere pretty much, but this is definitely a must have for me. For the summer, I highly, highly recommend some kind of water table. They are absolutely amazing for sensory play and so much development is happening when your child plays with a water table. So the one that we have is a step two rain shower splash pond water table. This one is honestly kind of fancy. I wanted a bigger water table because I bought this for Luke when I was already pregnant with my second. So I wanted something that would be big enough for multiple kids to be around playing in. But water tables allow toddlers to have have fun while developing problem solving skills, finding gross motor skills, creativity, and language development. Water tables also help develop early science and math skills. My professional background is all in child development and early education, so I am such a fan of having toys that are educational and cater to development as well, which this water table does. If you want something more flexible, you can just get a sensory table that you can bring in and out. You don't have to get a specific water table. For that, we have the IKEA flea set sensory table. I love it. It's it's super basic. It has two open compartments. You can fit different sizes of the IKEA Trofast storage bins. So you can do like different combinations of like four small ones or two small ones and a medium or two medium sized ones. So I love it because you can have something like sand on one side and water on the other or have two different things going on in a sensory table, which is really nice. It's also great if you have multiple kids and they kind of want to have their own space because we all know how that can be with young children, right? They want their own space, that they don't want their sibling to be all up in their stuff. So this is what's nice about the Ikea bin because each child can have their own separate bin to play in. So I will link that down below as well. If you're on a budget and you don't even wanna go with a table, you can just use a large plastic bin 
anything, feel free to get creative. Your child is still going to get the benefits of the water play no matter what you're using. So just remember that. You do not have to go buy a ton of things if you don't want to. I'm just suggesting the products that we personally use and love, but feel free to do whatever works for you and your family. Okay, next up for a toddler summer must have, I definitely recommend some kind of safety swimming vest for when you go in the pool. I got Luke this Body Glove Paddle Pals life jacket. These are so awesome for pools. I used a float last year because he was a baby, but I knew I couldn't do that this year. I do have a video on summer baby must haves. If you do have a baby and you wanna check that one out, I will link that in the description box below as well. But I love this because they are completely in the water but it holds them up enough they do still have to like kind of lift their head out of the water and everything so it's really helping them to learn how to maneuver and swim in a pool obviously always make sure to closely supervise your child when in the pool i am always right next to him when he's using this my mom has an in-ground pool so we've been over there a couple times and he has caught on so quickly he absolutely loves swimming with this thing. Now he's at the point where he can hold his head up completely and he's kicking and trying to move his arms. I actually haven't gotten him swim lessons yet because I thought this year like he'd be still a little young for it, but I don't know, now I'm feeling like I should have gotten them. I don't know, but leave me a comment below and let me know if you got your child swim lessons and how old they were when you got them. They have a bunch of different styles in these. I just got this from Amazon. I will leave a link down below so you can check that out if you want as well. Obviously for the summer, you want a good sunscreen for your child. I did a lot of research when it came to sunscreens. I have been using the Baby Bum Mineral Sunscreen. This is my absolute favorite. So this is a mineral sunscreen, which is also known as a physical sunscreen. So there are two different types. There are chemical sunscreens and mineral sunscreens. Mineral sunscreens work by sitting on the surface of the skin and they actually reflect the UV rays from the skin. Whereas chemical sunscreens absorb the rays. But what I don't like about the chemical sunscreens is that the body can absorb the chemicals. Certain chemicals can be linked to allergies, hormone disruption and cell damage. I personally always prefer to stick with mineral sunscreens, especially when it comes to my kids. The Baby Bum has been great. It's unscented. It's great for sensitive skin. Luke does have really sensitive skin, so I have to watch what I put on him. He does really well with this. I have the spray and I also have the lotion as well. And if you guys want a quick hack for sunscreen, if you did not know, you can take a makeup brush, like a foundation brush, and use that to apply the sunscreen to your child's face. It makes it a lot easier and a lot of times they like it rather than your hands. You don't have to worry about poking them in the eye or something like that. That's just an option and usually that tends to help a lot. So my next summer must have is UPF clothing or bathing suits. So UPF is actually a clothing version of SPF. So UPF clothing has built in sun protection into the fabric. So I always try and get UPF bathing suits. I just like it because there's a little more added protection, especially if you know you're gonna be outside for a while. Along with that, I also make sure that Luke's hats, like his bucket hats, have UPF protection in them as well. I got this from Amazon. I'll link it down below with everything else, but this one does have UPF 50 plus protection in it as well. Okay, moving along. Next up, we have swim diapers. So regular diapers absorb way too much water and they swell up so much if you take them into the pool. So swim diapers offer some protection without having those super absorbent layers like regular diapers do. I get the Pampers splashers ones. I love these. I keep some extra in my diaper bag when we go to either the pool or the beach. So they almost look kind of like a pull up. They're just stretchy little pull on things. I used these when he was a baby and I'm using them again this year since he is not potty trained yet, which we're going to start soon which I'm really nervous about. Not going to lie. Thankfully Luke has never pooped in the pool. Although now that I said that, he probably will. They also have reusable swim diapers if you don't want the disposable ones, but I just find these super easy and convenient. Next on the list, we have an inflatable pool. So we have an Intex family lounge pool. I absolutely love it. I got this a couple years ago, but it has a built-in bench in it. It's perfect because all of us could fit in it comfortably. 
and it's just great for Mike and I to go in and kind of relax and cool off a bit, especially being pregnant this year. I'm like loving sitting in there, but we just fill it up like a little bit since Luke is still pretty small and he can go in there and just splash around in there forever. He loves it. But I'm just gonna warn you, the prices of blow up pools are significantly inflated during the summer, pun intended. Seriously though, you may just wanna grab something really small for your toddler for now if you're watching this during the summer and then grab something a little bigger for the family after that, unless you can find a great deal. I think I got this pool for like $40 two years ago and I just checked last night before I filmed this and it's priced at over like $100 up to $150 on some websites, which is ridiculous. Just wanna let you know that. Don't be surprised if you go looking for a pool online. I don't know if they're better in stores. I haven't checked stores for them. I just did a quick search online and yeah, all of them are pretty crazy. All the like bigger inflatable pools. I highly recommend a good pair of water shoes. These are great for any kind of water play. They are super comfortable. They dry quickly. We use them for the pool, the beach, water tables, sprinklers. Luke wears his all the time. I got these off Amazon. These are little Nautica ones. They were pretty affordable and they are super comfortable. I love that they have a slip resistant rubber sole to them. They're made of a really soft, quick dry material, which is nice. And I love how they have a closed toe for extra protection. I have a really hard time finding shoes for Luke. He has really wide feet, like me, unfortunately. So these have a pretty wide toe box so that his feet aren't squished in there, which was definitely a requirement for me. I read the reviews on these and a lot of parents were saying that they liked that they had a wide toe box. And I actually did size down a size because people were saying that they ran big. And I'm glad I did because these fit him perfectly right now. So so that's just something to note. If you get these, um, they do run a little bit big. Up next, we have some kind of insulated water bottle. I love these because they keep drinks cold in the summer. Really like this one. It was super affordable on Amazon. This one's really good with not leaking unless it's open all the way and completely like dumped upside down. Other than that, it's pretty good with not leaking. If it's like this, it doesn't leak. It's definitely durable. This thing gets dropped so much and <laughs> no dents or anything. It has a wide mouth when you open it, so it's easy to clean. I just use a bottle brush, and then I actually throw the top and the straw that it comes with in the dishwasher. Again, I will link this down in the description box below. Sunglasses are definitely on my toddler must-have list. Luke has loved sunglasses since he was a baby. I have been putting them on him since he was really, really little. We have literally had this pair since last year. We got them from Carter's and they are really durable. I mean, this one hasn't broke. He has another pair of the same style, but a different color that the arm broke off, but my husband keeps like being able to fix it. They're super cute. They offer 100% UV protection and they have shatterproof lenses, so they are safe. He definitely caught on quickly when he was a baby that they would help keep the sun out of his eyes. You definitely want these to protect their eyes when they're young. If you can try and get your child to wear sunglasses at a young age. I actually just ordered other ones from Amazon too in a different style. They're not Carter's. I haven't gotten them yet. I ordered them for Prime Day. So I'll check those out. And if I like them, I will link them below as well. If you have a baby, then head on over and check out my summer baby must haves video. I will link it in the description box below as well as up here. If you found this video helpful, then please give that thumbs up button a click and let us know in the comments if you have any summer toddler favorites that I didn't mention. Definitely be sure to click that subscribe button before you go. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.